I read somewhere that you said, Forrest, that this movie is about how we protest. What do you mean by that? Uh, I, mean, I mean, there's different ways of, of protest. And, uh, and I think what more importantly I should have said is it, it's, it's a call for us to recognize that we need to stand up at times for, for issues in social injustice. This man is doing it by his mere presence, sometimes by your, your simple presence. You can shift an environment. It's a part of the movement, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and then you have like what David does, this brilliant work that David does. Where Our he's... son in the Our movie. Son, yeah. Our son in the movie. Uh, yeah. He's, he's protesting actively, he's aggressively, act but he's searching for his protest because what he understands, what you see in his character is, is that, that he has to stay something. What is so fantastic to me about this film, and I didn't realize it when I was doing it, and I certainly didn't see it when I read the script, I could feel some of it. But exactly what you're saying is true about the protest, that different people had their own ways of protesting. Mm -hmm. And that in our culture, we celebrate those whose names made the history books. But th that moment, which is my favorite moment, is when Cecil Gaines goes in and asks for the raise mm -hmm. both times. I just think sure. that yeah, what you were able to convey in that scene where he goes in and asks for a raise and he gets turned down, mm -hmm is the humiliation. You can feel his humiliation, yes. but he still walks out with dignity. And what makes me just want to weep every time I see or think about that is, is that every single person who came before us did that a million times a day. You have to recognize that you're walking in history. Each step you take is history. And then when the photographs are taken of the grave things that you're doing, that in the future, like those photographs we saw in the 60s, of all the faces that we don't recognize, those are the people, those yeah. are the heroes that made it happen. Yeah, like, and, and this, is, this is what gets me. You know, I ta had a great conversation with um, uh, black actresses recently, and Al Frey was in that mm. group, Alicia Rashad, and Gabrielle was in that group, and Viola Davis. And Viola, you know, got a lot of heat for doing the help. Yeah. A lot of heat for doing the help. Did you know that? No, a lot but I would people. imagine she did. Yeah, because you know? people, you know, our own people were like, why are you playing the maid and why are you doing that? And I'm sure there are people who feel that, you know, playing a butler is a, a passive thing, but that just really infuriates me. Yeah. It infuriates me that we, as, as, a, as a group of people, as a culture, don't understand the value of what Dr. King says to, mm. to, to David's character mm. in the film, of what the domestic worker meant for this country. Mm -hmm. well, what do your daddy do? He's a butler. Young brother, the black domestic defy racial stereotypes by being hardworking and trustworthy. None of us would be sitting here today had there not been the maids and the butlers. None of us would be.